here, Spencer. You can be Cam and I'll be Bobby. I can't be Cam. I don't relate to him on a personal level. Oh. Well, we could pretend they're mom and dad. They don't even look like mom and dad. Yeah, bad idea. Guess what, kids? Who's there? Oh, no. Are you the bad man that beheaded our cat? No, silly. I'm here to tell you all about the new line of Cam and Bobby dolls that look and act just like your parents. Our parents? That's right. All parents. Ah, I can't ah. see. It's the new CPAP Cam. The first fashion doll with sleep apnea. We've been working with the National CPAP Alliance to make sure we are accurately representing a person who is suffocated periodically throughout the night. CPAP Cam comes with a loud snoring stomach button that gives him realistic episodes where he stops breathing and gasps for air. That's why he's accompanied by has to wake up at 8 o'clock for work Bobby to remind CPAP Cam to always wear his mask. You're snoring again. This new Bobby comes with an iffy Xanax prescription, bags under her eyes, and all the mood swings you can handle. Ready at any minute to dress down CPAP Cam in front of his friends and family. Just, Just like, like our mom. Are you finally gonna grow up here and ask your boss for a raise? Well, I don't have to thanks to your stupid Etsy jewelry business. Every morning, I hope you don't wake up. Join the club. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, hey, can I play? Sure, we're playing mom and dad with new mom and dad Cam and Bobby. But I don't know how to play mom and dad. My parents so dated a truck stop. Oh well, guess you can't play then. <laughs> New mom and dad, Cam and Bobby. We're inclusive now. I was standing in line and there yeah. was a furry in front of me. You're right. And then he, I don't know what he was doing, but he was doing something inside of that suit. Oh, hey. Yeah. It's normal world. Hey, what's hey, up, hey. everybody? What's going on? Garrett just got back from a furry convention. It was Comic Con. It wasn't a furry convention. I don't know how many times I've got to tell it's you that. It's the same Dave. thing. It it's is not the same, same thing. It's very different. It's the same thing. They're, they're all, shunned in our community. You're okay. Dressed up. They're, they're shunned. It's all ridiculous. Anyway, uh, that's Dave. Hey, everybody. I'm Dave Landau. I'm Corda Black Garrett. And before we kick this off, I just want to let people know I'm going to be dressed up. If you come out to, it's not true, it's in Indiana, oh, wow. August 11th, I'm going to be at the, <laughs> uh, the what is it? No, actually, to start, yeah, August 11th, I'm going to be in Indianapolis at the Irving Theater. And then on the 12th, you can see me at the Hobart Theater. That's going to be my little Indiana tour. So come on out. You can get tickets at davelandow.com. What do they do in the Indianas? Uh, mostly racism. Ah. So yeah, they're pretty, pretty bad people. Mm. So if you guys want to come out and join us, it's going to be pretty cool. I'm kidding. I love you guys. You guys are good. Yeah, I, I hope you guys that. come. I always have fun in Indiana. They, they're hard drinkers. Okay. A lot of clan. Yeah. 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 So pretty good. Come on out, guys. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to love our, it. Are people? No, they're good people. Yeah. I always have fun in Indiana. The salt of the earth is what they call it. Yeah. Because they're right white. The middle. Like salt. Bitter. Anyway little tangy. Now, we do have a special guest. Do we want, do. Do you want to start giving a clue? Uh, maybe before we do that, we should uh, introduce... Angela? Our, our in-studio producer, Angela. Uh, hey. Clap. Clap. Clap for me. Yep. Clap for me. Yeah. Clap for me. Thank you. We, did we do it right? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Now, should we wait in, in the, the water? water. We're in the water, in 
the water. Wade in the water. Wade Stotts. Wade Stotts. Please welcome Wade Stotts, everybody. It's great to be here, guys. Yes. Yeah. The normalest place on earth. That's right. Which Great. is very normal. Yeah. The host of the Wade Show with, with, Wade. Wade. with Wade. That's, That's right. Me. Yeah. Most hosts settle for the one-time name in the name of the show. <laughs> I went for two. You got it in there. The record. I don't know if anybody else has done it. I can't think of a single person that's done that before. I think you, I think you landed on a gold mine, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. You did Thank it right. You. How you been? That. Been doing great. Yeah. I'm up in Idaho now. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I, I live in a small town called Moscow, Idaho. Wait, and, you live uh, in Moscow? Yeah, yeah, it's confusing. But yeah, it's the the in the chimney of Idaho, tiny little town. And then I came down here to Dallas for this, and I feel like Jed Clampett. Like, I, I have two years out of the city, and I, I'm just totally you out really of it. Like, what to do. Uber, what is this? <laughs> is it? Do you live in, like, that part of... Well, I guess Idaho's all pretty rural, right? Pretty rural, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm in the town where the University of Idaho is. Uh, so okay. it's a college town, but it's, like... Or, you know, potato -y. Very, Yeah, potato -y. Yeah. Very potato -y. Very, very starchy. Pretty downtown. You know, it, it's like uh, during during the winter, it's like a Hallmark card. It's like, yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, That's yeah, going to be nice. It's, I bet it's oh, really it's nice. I, I drove through Idaho once, and I don't think I saw a single person. <laughs> it was just nothing but just uh, fields. That's what makes it nice. Yeah. Mm. It's kind of like refreshing. Just, yeah, get away from everybody. Yeah, I don't need people to be around me. Yeah, kill someone. Yeah, and people would never know. It's my plan. Yeah. Well, why not? You have mm. so much room to do it. <laughs> yeah. That is, yeah. That is what, like, mur a lot of people do want to commit murder, but they're like, there's no room here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're in New York, I need open it's like, spaces. <laughs> what's the point? Somebody might hear. Yeah. And walls. Yeah. A lot of witnesses. You do it in Idaho. That's they're true. not, they're not even going to look for the body. Right. Who's going to look for it? Who's going to yeah. think it's in Idaho? Yeah. Who even Nobody. owns those? Who even owns this property? You think? And then a hundred yeah. miles later, you're like, "Is it the same guy still?" <laughs> is this the same? <laughs> this, we only saw one Probably house. So. Yeah, it's just a bunch of canola. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> great. That's awesome. <laughs> is it mainly still indigenous? Is that the word? Uh, yeah. So there were, uh, yeah, there was an indigenous population there. Of uh, yeah. So, but but yeah, it, we've we've kind of made it into got rid uh, of them. <laughs> that's what you do. <laughs> you colonize. Yeah. Them. It's, it is a, a beautiful place to live. Yeah. <laughs> We've well, moved them out. You brought in the yeah. chimney. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. These are our this is our land. I won't go into, yeah, I won't go into every reason I like it, but I do like it. No, no, I get no, it. Makes yeah. sense. <laughs> makes sense. So you do you do like a weekly roundup? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like a weekly news roundup show on Fridays. It's a, sort of a news monologue uh, with jokes, sort of like a John Stewart like set a punchline. It is so. It's a ton of fun. So good. I'm I really enjoy like it. it. Yeah, I'm glad you like it's it. So good. Yeah, it's 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 fun to be able to pick the news stories and have like a short thing. So I, like if something happens, I don't have anything to say about. Then I can just go like, I'll oh, wait till Friday. Surely <laughs> yeah. something else will happen. I just no. Oh, yeah, about yeah. It. It's gotta be nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, we just kind of pick whatever is handed to us. <laughs> yeah, like we'll throw stuff at it, but we have people that are better than me. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes absolutely. it's like uh, you know, like the Trump thing happened. You know, oh, he's gonna get arrested. I don't have any interest in that story but like no i'm interested sometimes we need kind of about. but not enough in like, like a general sense of like wow yeah, like why it happened but i know it's just going to be another like trumped up charge not to be punny dude but no it's true though it's going to be nonsense <laughs> exactly so yeah that was why. my thing is like yeah it's it probably not gonna work no well yeah why would it stick he's like he's like teflon bro Ken scares me when he comes in and starts playing with <laughs> yeah, the wires. Yeah, I was really <laughs> offset. You yeah, didn't I'm sorry. See I, uh, I miss him. No, Ken, he, hid from he was me. sneaking behind you. Uh -huh. and he tries to do it in the most subtle way, but it is it, the most unsubtle way. It's never subtle. Like, he's creeping around the floor, touching <laughs> stuff. <laughs> to hide from me, Ken. Yeah. <laughs> so, did anybody see the Barbie movie this weekend? Did you really? I did. I oh did. yeah, you have daughters. Yeah. Well, I didn't. I'm, there's no oh, way yeah. I'm taking my daughters them. to that. <laughs> oh, you went. I'm not you went alone. That show. No, I went with uh, five other dudes. I do a show called Friday Night Tights. Okay. No, I know. We talk yeah. about stuff. We had and, to uh, see it for work. I had to yeah. see it <laughs> for work, guys. Uh, we I walked up and I was like, I did the meme. Six tickets for Barbies, please. Um, and uh, we watched it in Hillcrest. <laughs> Hillcrest. No. Uh, uh, San, San Diego, Diego. Hmm. and uh, if you don't know, Hillcrest is very gay. It's like the gay uh, in San gay Diego. Is in San Diego, yeah, yeah just how <laughs> so gay like we even talking. more like even too. very gay. Like we uh, your feet so it's there. sticking in the theater. No You're joke. Like, did everyone no joke. spill yes. soda? I sat I in the very so. back you seat, and it was so. like, yeah, you're like, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, it was uh, it was a film. 
and uh, everyone on my row were a lot like of endless blue sodas in here. All the <laughs> slurping. <laughs> <laughs> what a good deal. What is this? Yeah. <laughs> A lot of moaning going on. Yeah, I must really like this. Place. People Strange. love Barbie. Yeah, uh, they're on their knees worshiping it. Uh. Uh, <laughs> the crowd loved it. They loved it. Yeah. So, what did you think of it? I mean, you loved I, it, I, right? I uh, I watched. I did the Oppenheimer and Barbie. I watched both of them. Oh, good. Okay. And which, I would, which first? That's the I watched Barbie first, Barbie and then first. Oppenheimer. Okay. I feel like I want to end it with the lowest of low energy. Okay. You know? You want to go, I don't want to go out in a fun, fun yeah. way. Is Oppenheimer <laughs> just all close-ups? It, there's a lot. It's like 90%. Yeah. 90% close-ups. Like close annoyingly ups. so, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, really fast dialogue. Uh, but close I legit... Close-ups in IMAX. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. don't sit in the front row. Right. I was very close. A bunch of inserts. <laughs> of, <laughs> of somebody uh, who lost 80 pounds that was already <laughs> skinny. <laughs> yeah. Let's get close. I yeah. become the biggest dead. camera we got. Did you see Oppenheimer, Angela? Did you, yeah. It's an Amber Alert on your phone. Don't it, worry, it's Texas. <laughs> it's the only reason. I know, of course it is. <laughs> I didn't see either. I have a baby. It's hard to be away from. That's her. true. Yeah. yeah. You but can just leave him in a I room. I would have seen Barbie over Oppenheimer, probably, mm. just because. I legit it's more fun. liked Barbie more. Yeah, that's why I, I, I thought heard it was. Notes. It was. It had jokes that actually were funny, and uh, funny enough, the best character in it was the man. What the Ken. hell is wrong with you? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, the ending, though. <laughs> funny so, <enough>. like, the <laughs> interesting tidbit. <laughs> Ken, very funny. Very funny. Ken, very amusing. Uh, yeah, if, if there's anything Ryan Gosling's known for, it's being hilarious. That's it. I can't even fault him for <laughs> no, that because it is Ryan Garrett Gosling. And he's, Ryan he's Gosling, he's got he's good charisma. And, yeah. uh, he does have a lot of charisma. He yeah. was the only person Gorgeous man. that was, that was uh, good in that movie. Uh, aside from Michael Sarah. Which is what, surprising. Who was he in that? <laughs> he played another Ken doll, but it wasn't Ken. It was like uh, Alan. 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 A discontinued like, toy. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> um, but the first part of the movie so where the, they're in Barbie yeah. land, mm -hmm. it's kind of like, oh, they're making fun of it. It's like a fun whatever. You know, I'm sitting here. I'm like, it's not for me, but I get it. It's mm -hmm. entertaining. And every once in a while, there'll be a joke. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of funny. And then the last act of the movie is the most preachy, feminist propaganda Quifanon garbage <laughs> that I've ever seen. Okay. It was brutal. Yeah. And dude. you've seen a lot of it. I've seen a lot of that yeah. crap. It is brutal. That's just on this show. Yeah. <laughs> dude, they sit on they sit <laughs> on shots for it's almost like Oppenheimer esque, like long drawn out shots of Barbie. But and I figure like it is it existential is, crisis. It is Barbie like, though. It's gotta, be, Barbie movie. it's gotta be pro woman. Yeah. Uh no yeah, it was. Sure. Right. And uh, yeah, I, I skipped both movies and just watched Bridge on the River Kwai with my sons. That's a good idea. Did <laughs> you really? Yeah, that's a great idea. movie. Yeah, absolutely. Much yeah. better. Best picture, 19 whatever, 63. That's a great movie. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, a lot of people had, you know, criticisms of the Barbie movie, including friend of the show, Ben Shapiro. Oh, yeah. And he actually posted a very scathing review, much like you did. Here's a little clip of it. <sighs> okay, gang. I have pages and pages of notes on this unprecedented dumpster fire of epic magnitude. First off, the Barbies in the Barbie movie all address one another as Barbie, exhibiting a reckless disregard for the established continuity of the Barbie animated movies as well as the series Barbie Life in the Dreamhouse, where she does not live in a so-called Barbie land, but in the aforementioned Dreamhouse in Malibu. However, in this heaping pile of cinematic excrement, apparently all the Barbies live there with all the Kens in a one-to-one -one ratio, when it's common knowledge that you only get one Ken every two to three Passovers, making the Barbie to Ken ratio 17 to one on average. But perhaps most egregious of all is Dua Lipa's portrayal of mermaid Barbie with blue hair when literally everyone in the universe knows Mermaid Barbie has always had blonde hair that turns rainbow colored underwater. This movie seems to hold the entire Barbie franchise in utter contempt. So to wrap this up, I won't be taking my daughter to see the Barbie movie, and I suggest you don't either, folks. Take her to see Oppenheimer instead, which at least shows the proper amount of deference to its title character. Mmm, strawberry. Man, he really yeah. hated it. Yeah, he Greta did Greta Gerwig like is weeping. All. Yeah, for Weeping sure. right now. That is brutal. He had some good points, though. Yeah. The world building is not good. It was very okay. confusing. It was like, the so, <laughs> so uh, Barbie, you're also a toy that's outside of the land and somebody's playing with you, but there's not multiple of you, but there are multiple of other types of Barbie. So there's like President Barbie and there's like yeah. Space Barbie and there's like uh, Take Out the Trash yeah. Custodian Barbie. 
I hope I somebody clipped that. Did. I hope somebody clipped that for social media. That was <laughs> yeah, yeah, the that. criticism of the Barbie lore. <laughs> <laughs> it was very confusing. All yeah. right. It's very confusing. There's a lot of girls we saw, though, dressed up as the Barbie girls insane. going to the movies. Because I was performing at a comedy club, yeah. and then they were all going to the movies and just all excited. Like grown <laughs> yeah. women. Right. Just all yeah. dressed up as Barbie. The, the movie is definitely it's made the sexiest for... thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't bother me at all. Yeah, you know, this is I was great. like, yeah, girl power, you whore. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't say that. I mean, the yeah, movie was girls. made for millennials, <laughs> uh, millennial women <laughs> that are sad about their lives. That was yeah. what the ma- movie is made for. I, I hope it? that families aren't taking their kids because this is not a kid movie. They are, though. <laughs> they are totally. They, that little girl is going to be so traumatized by the end of that movie because it's really? all about death. It's like, yeah. oh, we all die sometime. It's like PG-13. Is there it? There are like dirty jokes in the trailer. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was, I, I guess, I guess they're being honest that all of this content is for like childless millennials. Like yeah. that's just the demographic. But, but hey, yeah. hey, it, if you're gonna write feminist agenda stuff into a movie, it might as well be Barbie. I mean, it's Does like she almost has, like Is her... that the joke? Like he has no genitalia and she yes. has no womb. Yes. Oh, well, that's he's fun. All fat, he's <laughs> flat down there, like sterile. Like oh, do they? So do they try to like? I think that's funny. Procreate? <laughs> no, that, there's a scene. One of the jokes is kind of funny. Is like he wants he wants her to go out, like spend time at his house. She's like, "Hey, why don't you come over for the night?" And she's like, "What would we do?" And he's like, "I don't know," because he's so dumb. Yeah, he really has no idea of what it is. Yeah, I think that's, I think which is great. I thought it was like one of the jokes that kind of landed. It's like <laughs> okay. if you're gonna yeah. write a story about Barbie, you might as well like do those jokes about Ken being stupid yeah. and, and Barbie being stupid. And it's like all perfect for her. Cause that's kind of how the toys are. Yeah. Um, so those parts worked, <laughs> yeah, but I, the parts where they broke down and were like women, if you're in a workplace, you gotta be like, uh, assertive, but you can't be too assertive because if you're too assertive, then you're like bossy and you can't, you can't have kids. But if you do have kids, you gotta love them, but you can't love them too much. There was like, a, was there a PowerPoint presentation th- in the middle of the movie? There's a part in the movie where it stops <laughs> and it breaks down. What? There's lit. I'm not joking. There's a part where she stops and it's not Barbie. It's a uh, America Fiera. And she goes this for like two minutes straight, a preachy, like women aren't understood because wow. they have problems, and I'm like, hey, the braces girl to... from the Ugly Betty show. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's still around, <laughs> apparently. Yeah. Oh, and uh, I'm not trying it's to be. Like, yeah. I just didn't know she yeah. was still doing stuff. Just welcome, for her. Yeah. Welcome to still the alive. Earth. It's uh, it's difficult for everybody. I did hear. Are you guys t- comfortable talking about spoilers? Or are you are you guys <laughs> anti spoiler people? I mean, if you want to ruin the film for me, go for so it. So I haven't seen. I was going to ask you because I heard that Ken establishes a patriarchy yeah that that's like the whole conflict yeah. of the movie he's the is villain he becomes he wants to like take over the world and make it manly yeah so he, so <laughs> what a bastard i know right and it kind of looks rad like so yeah. they're in barbie land <laughs> yeah. and they yeah. leave and he goes to the real world and he finds that in the real world it's run by men and he's like yeah. whoa i like horses and i like uh horses uh, yeah for some reason they like connect fourth horses. Grade girls <laughs> i know they connect horses to being masculine Draw and i was horses, like wait yeah. I, I think girls right. love horses. like a yeah. hobby horse you might ride around around at harvard <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh exactly. and then he goes he goes back to barbie land and i hate takes this it conversation <laughs> Never, and he's like, we're gonna break this down, Dave. Yeah. Oh this my is lord. This no, is entertainment. It's, it's, no, it is. I'm sure everybody hasn't stopped this. Yeah. <laughs> well, we went out onto the street. Oh my god, do we have to get off of this? We should put <laughs> chapters in this video. No. no. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Barbie Look, we took it very serious. Now. We wanted to know if people liked the movie, so we yeah, actually we, we did a poll on the internet, found some some men to see if they liked the movie. Well, uh, we just found we, one. We found one. Just one. So yeah. We asked the internet if anybody that is a male loved the Barbie movie, and we got a response, and we're actually here at the Dallas Medical Center uh, interviewing a doctor. So, uh, doctor... Well, I'm a nurse. Oh, that's great. Yeah, a male male nurse, so does that blow your mind? No, no, that, not at all. It's, it's great, actually. Uh, but the Barbie film. Yeah, so sorry my job isn't as manly as yours, Mr. Entertainment Correspondent. I just spend my days working on the precipice of life and death. You know, I am a nurse. I use a stethoscope, I ask you about your medical history, but it doesn't mean that at the end of the day, I don't like kicking back with a cold one and the Joe Rogan experience. So, does that answer your question, Seacrest? Well, yeah, except for the Barbie So part. yeah, I change Foley's, I give sponge baths, but rest assured, I'm all man. I'm straight. I love women, and you know what? Women love dating a nurse. I know more about menstruation than they do. One girl called me her Dr. Kendall, 
And I said, first of all, I'm a nurse, not a doctor. Secondly, I got genitals, big ones. Did you like the movie or? Yeah, we loved it. <laughs> wow, that guy loved it. <laughs> he really got into yeah. that. Weird dude. That's a weird, weird guy. <laughs> Gorgeous gal there. Yeah. I'm I wonder who movie. called him her Dr. Kendall. I don't know. Yeah, what's going on in her brain? Romantic. I call my doctor that. <laughs> <laughs> Very smooth. Yeah, his, I'm always like, hey, Dr. Kendall. Very stiff. <laughs> and he's like, my name is Frank. I'm like, I know. Stop calling me that. <laughs> I know. What's he's the a problem. He's like, anyway, you're going to die. Yeah, he's like, so anyway, <laughs> you, you have still six have, months to live. You still have pretty aggressive cancer. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't change. <laughs> okay, flattery Ken. will. Yeah. And yeah. You might have delusions. Whatever, Ken, baby. Sure, yeah, yeah. Flattery is not going to get you the cure, buddy. <laughs> Come on, Kenny. <laughs> Come on, I'm doing a bit. <laughs> Come, on. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Riffing with your doctor. <laughs> yeah, who's just not into it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm seriously trying to give you this news. <laughs> you want to get everything in order. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Did you hear about this in the news? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about this? You have pancreatic cancer. about this, folks? Yeah. That really, there's very little chance of you. It's like 0.05%. Oh. Yeah. yeah, Kenny. And uh, <laughs> Dr. Ken. <Ginn. laughs> I'll tell you about some other gay, gay, uh, horrific uh, <laughs> stuff. That's a great. We word. rented a Kia, Gorific. and uh, I want people to know this. Uh, it's the same, you know. It's a car. Yeah. And uh, we went outside. Thanks for that. Like, I, I was way behind. I was, in case you didn't know, <laughs> I, I, was, I had to catch up. And it's not a car I would normally rent, but uh, my okay. friend Derek rented it. I would have said no, as I do when anybody offers an electric car or a Kia. Um, no offense, because sure. I know some people here have Kia. You don't like the EVs? No, I don't care for electric vehicles. And if they offer me one, I get upset. What is it about it that you don't like? It's stupid looking, and I hate the fact that you can't feel how it drives. I need to uh, feel an engine. Yeah. I mm. want to feel an right. engine. I get upset. We were talking about that. Like, when you put your foot to the gas, <laughs> Sorry. you want to feel that gas going into the engine. Yeah. You want to feel the brakes. Actually, like, the one-to-one -one between my foot and the brakes stopping the car. Yeah, I like, I electric like cars are very. It's like, a, yeah. I like a giant Detached. machine that yeah. shakes a little bit. Right, yeah. and it's like, loud. Right, I want that. There's like, yeah, heavy machinery. As a man, you're just like, I need the. Yeah, it feel just like feels right. Yeah. yeah, so can't we, handle too well. Yeah, so we parked next to some, you know, caddies and Mercedes and stuff, and we went out the next day. And my friend Derek's like, my my key is gone, and we're like, that's not. I'm like, that's not true. Mm -hmm. I drove your car last night a little. You were very drunk. Let me just go out yeah. and make sure it's outside. And there was glass shattered everywhere. And it turns out Kias and Hyundais mm -hmm. are being stolen because what they do is they just take a USB drive after they rip out your lower... Yep. Like they just go in there and yank it out. Yeah. And they just put in the USB. And it's not like they're programming your car. It just goes right over the... Like we were saying it. So they're in your drive shaft, there's, uh, there's the assembly for your key to go in to start the ignition, yeah. right? When you, if you could take that off... There's a rod in there that fits a USB perfectly. You put a USB in it, and then you turn it. So it's and in now USB. You know how to do it. Yeah, yeah, it's not but like it has some kind of like no, no, yeah, software. You're not like so if you're not in there. It's like you can go out tonight and steal a Kia. Yeah, uh, but informational yeah, right. program. <laughs> yeah, who it's said a, the show is an educational? Yeah, right it's there. a it's a yeah. trend on Be TikTok. A that's how they found it out. So they, they call the Kia boys. And uh, they go around and joyride cars and stuff. Not a very so. original name. No. I got to say. Uh, but not you know, a gang not you want to be in, people. really. <laughs> you the should. Yo, what a Kia boys. A gang you should be beaten out of if you ever tell somebody you're in it. <laughs> the least tough gang, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm a yeah. Kia boy. What'd yeah. you say? I go out and steal, <laughs> steal stuff. And Where's the Kia girls at? Come on, girls. Yeah, I'm sure Watch there's Barbie some ladies. and then come steal a Kia. Yeah. Yeah. You can do it. You can do it. it you can do it's anything. It's so easy. <laughs> it's Nobody's going to yeah. pull you over and Barbie. be like, this isn't her car. Yeah. Like, if there's, there's a guy behind the wheel, they can be like, stop that car. Like, wait. <laughs> there's a chance that's not his. <laughs> it's like, But if there's a lady behind the wheel, they're yeah. going to believe you. Kia. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Kia. Yeah. Electric Kia. Uh, an electric <laughs> Kia. That is a young woman's car. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the last electric vehicle I had was remote control. Yeah, yeah. That's, the, that's the only yeah. one you should have. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's a monster truck. You had a, you had a dad that loved you. <laughs> yeah. That's what you had. A car that takes gas, not one that you plug in for 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. After waiting in the middle of God knows where for the two things that are open. I saw a guy. Outside of Costco. He was like, you yeah, suck. 
having electric car is so nice. I just like charge it for two hours straight and I get 300 miles. Wow, that sounds I was like, awful. Wow, I can fill up my tank in five minutes and get 400 miles. Yeah. yeah. I don't have to wait around. Yeah, and I, for those two hours, it cost me $30. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Whatever. I feel like Angela's offended. Do you have no. a do you have an electric <laughs> vehicle? Kia? I don't. Well, I, have a, I have a Kia. Don't tell people Please what don't. you drive. I, you already look, told tell, people on I have a previous Hyundai. episode. Did I? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. It's I have a, a Hyundai, so if you could find my... <laughs> run out of stuff to talk Hyundai. about. In fairness, it's not in the parking lot anymore. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Go check in the car. <laughs> yeah. There's a 16 year old that already crashed into a Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go on to the next story, shall we? Please. Let's that rumble can, it up. Does anybody know how the prompter works today? <laughs> oh, right. Wait, am, I, am I running prompter? <laughs> no, wait, that's it. Oh, it is. Wait, you were supposed to Look be at me being sorry, mouthy. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. I didn't we know. talked about this. I'm being mouthy when I didn't even realize that that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've been on a plane. All- I had to do the thing where I bought a very nice aisle seat for myself, and then a yeah. family got on, and we're like, could you move to that middle seat? And I was just like, you pile of crap. <laughs> you and your awful kids. And you have no choice. We had to be a nice guy. Everyone but, uh, looks at you. Right. But it's your porch. They're like, oh, they always do this. It's like, who's they, sir? It's you. <laughs> It's not the airline didn't do this. You did this. You purchased every one of those seats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you're the one that picked four seats and then the, they were randomly selected on the plane. <laughs> they didn't do anything. I would love to you're see a, a picture of you just in the middle of the family. Oh. Or just like with a s- smile on your face and they're all like, oh, screw I was guy. so angry. <laughs> And then the one kid kept screaming. Okay. Like, in a way that was... And the one kid... Like, I looked at him and I was like, are you Keenan Ivory Wayne? Like, he, looked, <laughs> he, he looked like a, a, an adult man playing a baby. <laughs> and kept screaming the whole flight. And I just sat there like, this is, this is why I hate everything. Like, and it, for a while it was like, oh, I'm going to have this whole row to myself. Right. Oh, but it was dude, the very last that's second. That's the worst. Because yeah. you're sitting there and you're just like... I was like, oh, not only do I not get the row, I have to sit behind them and I don't even get to sleep because your man baby is going to be screaming the whole time. (laughs) (laughs) Like she was picking it up and like hiccuping it. Yeah. Oh, sure. And I'm like, how are you lifting this, this 14 year old (laughs) massive baby? baby? You're assuming that it's also as heavy as an adult man. It it was (laughs) was really dense. dense, Its head was way bigger than the mom's. I'm not joking. It didn't make sense. I was wow. like, this isn't a baby. I assume C-section so then. Oh, yeah. easily. It oh, had to be right. easily. No, no way around it. Maybe yeah, a dueling it's not seat. Going. Full <laughs> circle. <laughs> wow. it was, Medical terms around. I was so... Oh, I was pissed. Pissed, yeah. Garrett. I, I was... I, on my flight here, I sat next to a woman who was watching a movie on her phone, mm. and she was, like, trying to hide it from me. <laughs> what as was if watching? I was going to, like... She was watching some like Jason Statham movie <laughs> and she had it resting on her arm. And like once in a while I would just like, you know, smile and look politely at her and she'd just be like, <laughs> this is my like, I'm gonna, like, I don't know. She's steal. like, look, this is my transporter. Yeah, I you paid pay for this. You paid for this. You somebody for you to watch this. I paid for Amazon Prime. Yeah. And uh, you didn't. Yeah, so. this is mine. <laughs> this is I, was a watch, I was watching a movie on the on the back of the seat, right? Because they have the little, the little TVs. Yeah. And I just picked a random movie and it was a uh, Ali. Oh. It was not Serbian <laughs> film. Oh, okay. Dude, could you imagine? <laughs> What is it? <laughs> so I was watching uh, Ali with uh, Will Smith. Yeah. Okay. And I was like, yeah, a biopic. That's probably a safe pick to sure. watch. In, you know, airplanes, probably not too much stuff. Right mm-hmm. in the middle, there's like a sex, there's a, a sex scene. Okay. Yeah. And you're not watching it like this, you know. Mm-hmm. Right. You're watching it like everybody yeah. can everybody see behind, behind, personal, behind you is just yeah. watching yeah. you watch right. Will Smith give it to somebody. And you're like, <laughs> oh, I'm not kidding. I watched Behind the Candle Abra. Oh, part no. of it okay. on a plane I swear to god it's on Delta and I was like oh it's Matt Damon and it's uh, a trap and uh, Kurt, uh, Michael Douglas yeah and it's about Talent. Liberace yeah crazy right. very Talent. talented <laughs> right. and I liked very, those yeah. those old well, days of wrong. yeah so I'm like well, of course this yeah. will be fine so I'm like yeah we'll see what it is it is hardcore gay sex. Yeah. And I'm just sitting there like, do I turn it off and look homophobic? Yeah. Or I just do I continue watching like Michael yeah. Douglas is doing poppers and just getting railed by Matt Damon. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like 
like eating the terrible sandwich they gave yeah. me, like trying. The guy next to me is like watching the Sports Center, and I'm just like, I'm just watching Liberace yeah. just take it up the ass for a whole flight. You have to be like, I'm a big movie guy. Yeah, I'm like, it's, a, it's the medium. I'm, really, I'm I just cin- enjoy. Soderbergh's a good director. Really, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. Look, Rob Lowe's in it. Oh, yeah, he did Traffic. Everybody right. loves Traffic. Right, you like Come Traffic, on. right? Come on, yeah. guys. Guys, he's one of the first guys to shoot a movie on an iPhone. My friend Bobby Kelly was in it. No? Yeah. No, look, it's not the whole thing's not gay sex. He's also wearing a G string by the pool for a lot of the film. <laughs> well, you got this explainy voice. It's just like action the it's whole just, time. Yeah, oh, just yeah. slamming the whole yeah. time. And I had the same thing where I watched Silence of the Lambs where oh, no, yeah. the oh, one right. we land we landed once and he was sewing the skin suit <laughs> and it yeah. just froze on his pierced nipple <laughs> and then my screen was stuck and I'm just trying to like get my luggage <laughs> but it's like why do you have these options <laughs> yeah go through your list of movies yeah. and take the ones that are awkward out because it's even worse because it's not just like you're watching it and there's audio you're watching it silently from the outside oh, so sure. you're just sitting there right. it's very <laughs> uncomfortable <laughs> Because I fast yeah. forward through them a lot where I'm like, well, I didn't know that was yeah, going to be there. Yeah. Skip, it's skip, weird. Skip, skip, skip. It's like when a sex scene would come on in your, when you were sitting with your parents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And my yeah. mom was crazy. She'd be like, I didn't know all this mush would be in it. And I'm like, they're having like doggy style sex. <laughs> this <laughs> mush? Yeah, she'd call it mush. <laughs> I'd be like eight. Yeah. She's like, it's mush. I'm like, yeah. he's, he's tucked between and, his legs and he's that serial <laughs> killer. Mush. And you're like, I like mush. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I like Whatever her. Whatever that is. What's her name? She's called mush. <laughs> like, Oppenheimer's a little bit that way. So crazy. Because there's creepy. just a sudden full frontal nudity sex scene. Okay. Like in penis the middle of this. or vagina? No, there's no penis. Again, uh, IMAX. Full frontal. Uh, maybe it's not full <laughs> frontal. Why did you do Because there's like this? a yeah, second in the way. Know. I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, right. You're going to the movie and you're like, oh, I'm going to see... I'm going to see Oppenheimer and it's IMAX. Smell and it's just like IMAX. cinema. <laughs> <laughs> I want more Bush. Right. It's surrounding you. Like, I just don't yeah. need it. You're don't need this. Yeah, you yeah. start getting tickled by shrubbery. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what it's is 4D. this? <laughs> yeah, right. Just You're 1940. Like, oh, what's that in my eye? <laughs> Something in here. 1940 pubic hair. I'm just really into World War II trivia. <laughs> and I'm yeah. getting Bush. <laughs> so much. People. Don't take your family to go watch the movie. Just that's what I didn't understand about. But I don't. Everybody goes crazy for his directing, and I just don't. Uh, yeah, I walked what? out of the movie realizing I don't think I like Christopher Nolan movies anymore. I went and mm. looked on IMDb at his last, you know, all of his movies, and I haven't liked a movie in thirteen years. I, I liked, liked Inception. I liked Pie, which apparently he remade for. Oppenheimer, and then I I liked. Uh, is it re- is, is it basically like the Darren Aronofsky pi- movie? Is so that what you're talking pi? about? Oh yeah, that was Darren Aronofsky. Darren Aronofsky. I'm yeah. completely wrong. Right. So I liked Pi. Pi's a good movie. Yeah. I haven't seen that. But I liked um, Memento. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked cool Memento, movie. and then I liked obviously the bat. I loved the first Batman. Dude, I really Batman did love it. Yeah. It's the best one. It's I don't care one. what anybody says. And then the second one's really good. Yeah. And then I haven't really enjoyed any other Christopher Nolan movie besides The Prestige. Yeah, yeah. he uh, seems like very like self serious, and it seems like you know even if you're involved in making an atomic bomb, mm-hmm. you would be like somebody would crack a joke at some point. It somebody. would not not just be like it, three hours of pure it's like and that's like part of life is just like kidding around about something mm-hmm. somebody makes a dark joke like surely that's going on but like yeah. I, I don't know if i can go like three hours where it's just pure intense, intense. and like that seems to be the case with most christopher nolan movies inception yeah. was like that where yeah people walked out of that and they were like it was really amazing and i'm like what did i watch yeah I'm like, yeah, why do I right. have to pretend that was good? Or Dun- like it wasn't. Dunkirk. Dunkirk's I'm confused. The same thing. Good, good. <laughs> yeah. I like the Dunkirk movie. is a very simple World War II story about getting British soldiers off of a beach. And it's great, but he tells it out of order. Yeah, for okay. no reason. It's why Art. just tell me <laughs> yeah, the movie in order. It's one of those where you go, oh, it's visually amazing, and you're Absolutely. like, but the yeah. movie, and you're like, but well, it's, it's it's yeah. He's sort of it's like acted been, yeah. very well. He's, all of his movies for like ten years. He's been just making long screensavers. Where <laughs> yeah. just like play it <laughs> yeah. silent. Right, gorgeous. Like and when you look at it once in a while, you're like, great, awesome. Yeah. Sort of like a Kubrick kind of like, oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, yes. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, and then you get on with your conversation. <laughs> like Saving Private Ryan to me is a masterpiece. Like it's great. certain yes. like war movies. Like yeah. you just said, Bridge Over the River Kwai. That's a yeah. great film. Yes. Like yeah. there's so many great movies where, and then you look at that and you go, yeah, it's visually stunning. It's fine. But you forgot the part where you're 
you're entertained. 1917, yeah, right. w- a far better yeah, war film. That movie is so good. It, it it has the gimmick of being all in one shot. Sure. But it's a linear story and you right. get it. The first hour and a half of Oppenheimer is nothing but quick paced nonstop dialogue. There's no one scene. You know, like a scene will yeah. you come into a room and characters come in, they have a conversation, you learn a little bit about the character or what's going on in the movie. A scene. Yeah. A scene. <laughs> yeah. With music that underpins it, with like emotional, it kind of tells you how to tell. See, this sounds nice. This movie <laughs> I, I like this goes idea. Oppenheimer, he's in college, he's not in college, he's in the future, now he's getting grilled he's in, in, the in, future. <laughs> in in Congress, and now he's getting grilled okay. in a room, and now it's black and white, and now it's not black and white, and now he's having sex with Florence Pugh, and uh, now he's back in this room, and now Florence Pugh's there, but she's not there because she's supposed to be dead, but you don't know that yet, but now you know that. And then it's just like conversation for okay. an hour and a half. That's the movie. It's okay. like Capote and Infamous. <laughs> Where it's two movies where you're like, you know, the interesting thing about this was in cold blood. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's the whole point. It <laughs> yeah, was like, right. Capote was not interesting. Like, yeah. I'm sorry. He had a just, funny voice. That was him. Sure. Yeah. And it's like you're playing the character of like, and I talked to him in his cell and oh boy. <laughs> I get it. But like the whole part of it that was interesting was it was this killer and somebody went outside the box mm-hmm. to interview this person at a time and then actually had a kind of a bond with him. And then you watch this person die by hanging, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know, but it, for some reason, like both the characterizations ever of Truman Capote make Make it unwatchable because yeah. like the relationship is just too over the top because it's like right back at a dinner party of like and then the killer said hey Truman and you're like yeah. I can't I can't do this <laughs> can't just read the series. book like that's yeah. the, all the emotions in that and yeah they try to play to this time period mm. where you're like that don't just tell tell just the tell story, story that's interesting and that's the thing about like Oppenheimer with Nolan where if no one has any movie. I don't really care about any of the characters in any of his movies. And then he yeah. releases a movie that's just a character study yeah. and doesn't have like a major underlying. I mean, obviously, there are events happening around this guy, but it follows his life. And I just, again, I've never like even even the Batman stuff. It's all interesting, you know, but it's like <laughs> you don't sit there and go like, wow, these uh, these yeah. these are human beings and I care about them. There's a lot of interesting no. things happening on screen and you're yeah. like, yeah, something's happening. Right. Yeah. Well, and even the Dark Knight, like everybody loves, and obviously Heath Ledger was amazing in it. I will never take that Absolutely. away from yeah. him, and he deserved the Oscar. It wasn't just a mm-hmm. post mortem thing, but the last part of it where you introduce Two Face, I don't know who just got shot. <laughs> um, what was that? Something fell. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't from the ceiling. Somebody's but... over in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> I love Someone the fell. Dark Knight. <laughs> <laughs> he jumps down from the rafters. It's Ken from yeah, the shadows. He's just angry. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but when you introduce Two Face and then like build him up to be this menacing guy, and then also kill him, yeah. They also didn't give him like Two Face time to heal. It's like he would uh, be in a lot of pain, yeah. mm-hmm. just half burned with his eyeball all hanging out like <laughs> and his that. Teeth like <laughs> like he just really, and he's just like I'm a bad guy now. It's like are you are you in a lot? Of, like, you look hurt. <laughs> but like, <laughs> and when you have a movie like that where you like have these, you remember the performances from these Christopher Nolan movies, but that doesn't necessarily, it, it, a lot of times it's like performances making up for okay, like pretty good writing, Absolutely. you know, right, or like, yeah. like interesting writing. And then the performances make those characters. You get that with like Matthew McConaughey crying in a spaceship. Like that's a great performance, but if you just read it on the page, I don't know if it quite earns it, but I think, I think that's the case with most Nolan movies. Yeah. Well, that's probably why I, I won't see it up in her. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> yeah. why. Yeah. And Tom Wilkinson in the first Batman in the restaurant, like Dude. just that scene is so menacing with just him talking. Yeah. It doesn't even matter that it's a Batman movie. It's yeah. just him as the yeah. gangster is just flawless. It right. really works. Yeah. That's why like, I think my brain was like, anytime I hear Christopher Nolan, I go, yeah, He's a really great director. I really mm. like his movies. But I'm I realized that I was thinking of movies that came out 13 years ago. Sure. Over a decade. Uh, and the last few mov- movies they've been so-so to just not good at all. Yeah. Like Tenet, if you watch Tenet, that movie is bafflingly bad. I didn't get and it's it. Not, I... It's not like I'm not I don't I'm too dumb to understand the genius of Christopher Nolan. I get it. It's a backwards movie. He's going backwards. Everything goes backwards Spoiler. when we go through this. Oh man, sorry. Yes, it's Memento <laughs> meets James Bond with a budget. But I was just I just <laughs> never nice. connected to any of those characters. And again, yeah, it's right. the performances that carried that movie. Yeah. Uh, Robert Pattinson was like a great actor in the movie, but I didn't actually care about anything else and I was like, yeah, okay, can this move? 
any slower yeah. and be any louder. Right. Because it's the audio in that movie. <laughs> and somehow still hard to understand. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Extremely okay, so loud like and also... You're, you're saying yeah. very complicated dialogue about the very complicated plot yeah. while you have music that is louder than your dialogue. <laughs> right. Just growling. And I, I need... And they, they've actually asked Christopher Nolan about it and he does it on purpose. Okay. Which I didn't know being bad was a choice. Yeah. Like, I choose to yeah. have a bad film. Yeah. Well, there, there's like... <laughs> and the, there's people that go and yeah. they try to go, no, like, that's really good. It's like, he's like he's an auteur, man. He's like really smart. Like, well, there's like, the famous scene in, in like, bro. in On the Waterfront, there's this famous scene where he's like, you, you get to the point in the movie where you basically know what speech... Uh, Marlon Brando's character is about to make. Yeah. And then this tra this like boat whistle goes off and you don't hear him say it, but you basically know what's going to happen. And the boat whistle actually is a great visual for what's going on. Yeah. But that's like, that's a choice yes. <laughs> where it's like, oh, this was a moment that mattered and this is why it's unclear. But yeah, just sort of garbling a bunch of just, complicated lore. <laughs> well, and that movie Doesn't, is just such a masterpiece. Oh, dude. And then you uh, yeah. look at the third Batman where yeah. you, they had to go back and redub Tom Hardy because <laughs> that's, <laughs> the original voice was too cartoonish. Yeah. <laughs> and they then couldn't they went, understand you know, him. Yeah, is what he ended yeah, up with. Yeah, and then they <laughs> went back to do, yeah, the, and look at me. <laughs> that's <laughs> when an actor My comes face. up and says, <laughs> hey, I'm trying to do a something. What if I What if I try this? Oh, man, I was born in the dark. Yeah. You go, hey, Tom. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, it doesn't work. I was yes. born in the darkness and my face was... I was in a... Pr the, the funniest thing in that movie, and I've said it many times, and I'll say it again, is the fact that he's in a prison and his face is fine. And then he's escaping the prison and 10 prisoners grab him. And the rest of the show, he's wearing a mask that holds his mouth together. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I need the mouth. <laughs> is it just pieces? Yeah, just I don't, like like, what happened to his face <laughs> in that... 20 minutes also oh, everything know. else fine did it yeah. take his hair no. yeah like all of a sudden it's just 10 prisoners grab him and then he's yeah. like i was born in the top <laughs> now i need this man yeah. now he has to, to talk through a crab yeah <laughs> there was a line of men and they softened my teeth with the genitals <laughs> I'm really embarrassed by it. So oh, I put this mask on. I have cavities from what they did to me. <laughs> Why am I like this? Please Why? kill me off screen. Yes. I yeah. just wanted Batman to kill me. <laughs> so I was asking. No and they did time. it because he had that dumb voice. Yeah, and then yeah. it's just but like so before the mask, he <laughs> still got this. Hey guys, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Well, and that's why here like, I am in, in the darkness. In the airplane <laughs> like, scene. We get it, babe. Yeah. You were born in the dark. You don't have to say it I every love two it. seconds. It's great. Well, in the airplane scene, he's the <laughs> loudest one, but he's the one in the mask that's covering his yeah. mouth because yeah. it's so clearly dubbed. Yeah. 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 And Tom Hardy's a brilliant he's actor. A, awesome course. actor. Have you seen Taboo? Yeah. The show Taboo? Seen what? what is it? Taboo. I've not seen Taboo. So it's... Uh, have you seen Peaky Blinders? I have seen Peaky Blinders. So it's it's... Made by the same people, I believe. Uh, cool. If not, it's just like kind of the same era, and he he's the lead in that, and he's fantastic in that show. So I I recommend Taboo with Taboo. Tom Hardy. Had one season, and it's it was done. So it was it was a great show. But yeah, it's like you you take really great actors, and uh, somehow you make them bad. I don't know. <laughs> well, we got to play do a do game, that? don't we? Because we're running out of oh, time. Yeah. Hey, oh yeah, my since, goodness. Since Wade is here, I wanted to uh, play one hundred. Oh, no. 270 seconds. Play it! <laughs> Perfectly Either way, done. I like it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 270 seconds where we ask our guest questions that you, the viewer, uh, asked him. So <laughs> if you want to have your own questions, uh, put them in the comments below. Uh, Wade, from Brian Call. What's the best joke you've ever written? So Brian Cole is my boss at Canon Press. So really? that's hilarious that he's oh, <laughs> asking okay, well, me a question. Go. Um, gosh, uh, I did. I did one of the memorable ones. There was a time where um, Enrique Iglesias was like having a baby with his gay husband, and that was the right. story that I and I was writing a joke on that. And it was something like they welcomed him on whatever, and I said like uh, Enrique added uh, or said. Uh, commented on it that uh, there's nothing so beautiful as the smile of a newborn baby. 
except perhaps a hot, hairy asshole. <laughs> 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 and I was like, that one stuck out. Yeah. <laughs> the classic. Yeah. I was, I tinkered with that phrasing on that one That's for too long. That's just so perfect. Though. <laughs> yeah. The, like the, the build up to it and then it just being. Yeah. It's a gay joke. Yeah. yeah a, gay, yeah. a gay joke. Just like but a, it's better. Very it's low, not just yeah. a gay joke. It's an, it's a, a, it's a also smart a it's a, Is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's almost it's so a, dumb. It's smart. Smart. <laughs> Thank you. That's <laughs> very kind. <laughs> you guys are too nice to your guests. Uh, you're very terrible. Uh, <laughs> Red Ranger. Banana? Just banana? Yeah. Good. Do you like bananas? Do you I have one the other day. Potassium? Potassium. I also watched Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. That's the only way <laughs> yeah. I know that. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. She was a, the leader of a sex cult. you know that? Who was? The girl that's in Honey, I Shrunk. Was the Smallville girl ourselves. in Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves? Yes. Mac? Yes. Oh, my goodness. She, she was, was in, in that movie. That movie. <laughs> uh, she was in the direct-to-DVD one? Yes. Wow, good on yeah, her. She's yeah. a little girl. They showed that. that on Disney Channel all the time when I was growing up. Some say that's where she got really? the talent. Yeah. I saw the first one in the theater, and you guys make me feel old. Honey, Dude, I that blew, movie honey we blew up the baby. So good. No, honey, I shrunk. No, the that's kids. the sequel. Was the baby? I thought the baby, baby was baby first. No, sequel. baby was two. Oh my goodness! It was shrunk again. The kids, educational. This show. And then I blew <laughs> up the baby. Okay, uh, we've only got two. Yeah, which is a why, weird title. Why go with that phrase? <laughs> yeah, I know. Too. Why? It's a weird title. It just sounds <laughs> like it, you murdered it. Honey, yeah. I feel like a nice PG the baby. comedy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honey, the, the baby dead. exploded. Yeah. Yeah. Honey, oh, uh, <laughs> he's just carrying around a cabbage patch doll the whole time and no! not facing it. Goofy Honey! Rick Moranis. Yeah. <laughs> It's a good movie. I like the sequel. Yeah, Shrunk the Kids was the first one when they're like, Auntie. That movie Uh, is so good. I like that movie. It is a good movie. I like Rick Moranis. I love the concept of it. Like Mm. the kids in the backyard and like everything's huge and there's ants and scorpions and stuff. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Uh, Horror Not not what this person asked about. This person just asked banana. Asked about is about bananas. (laughs) They also have a sex cult. Okay. They were just asking if you would join. That's the code word. Okay. It's banana yeah. question mark. Oh, and you said yes. And you said oh, yes. No. So Please. after the show, no, I didn't know. We got a meeting room yeah, for there's you. There's a truck that's gonna pull up and take you home. <laughs> uh, last question here from Susan: If you had to dispose of a body and you only had three and a half hours before your alibi ran out, would you use the Echo 16-inch gas two-stroke chainsaw, or do you think that's too much? I would turn myself in because I'm a responsible citizen. Well, there you were. That's nice. uh, it's, uh, 270 seconds. <laughs> Nailed it. Perfect. That bumper lasted 270 seconds. Did, <laughs> didn't it? You should probably mention this just for the sake Perfect. of the show. There was a heart attack. Yeah, the, which the, you do want yeah. to talk about real quick, uh, and we're not making light of it. LeBron James' son had a heart attack. Oh mm-hmm. my goodness, he's eighteen. Um, kind of scary. I heard he's he had cardiac. He's, he's okay. stable. He's in okay. stable Good. condition. He's doing a lot better. It was so. during a basketball workout, which is pretty crazy for mm-hmm. an eighteen-year-old yeah. uh, to have athletic. Yeah, athletic eighteen-year-old. Yeah. Um, really oh sucks. yeah! Wow. Dude, so I hope, a, I hope he's doing good. I hope the family's doing dude. good. Um, Certainly. His neck is swole, as they say. <laughs> you really you think it's a thyroid problem? <laughs> <laughs> you think that contributed think to the like, heart attack? I'm not trying to like get into any sort of conspiracy stuff okay. here. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I'm not just asking questions. I'm just, yeah. I don't think we're just been doing that. the news. <laughs> I just, yeah. He, yeah. I don't know what it could be. I I certainly don't think a medical company would ever give anybody anything that would cause something like no. that. No. Yeah. I hope the medical companies save him from the thing that they did nothing. They did not. They had nothing, nothing to. Come well, I hope they, they will. They, yeah. Good. I think that they'll come oh, forward God. if they ever did anything yeah. wrong and admit it and help him. And it's very wow. normal for young, athletic... 18-year-olds. Mm-hmm. 18-year-olds to have cardiac arrest. Uh, yeah. Uh, not when, only is when they're fitness... they're putting their body at... Yeah, fitness is a sign of white supremacy. We know that. Yes, yeah. it is. Number and one. And also, you're going to get a heart attack. If you're, if you're too yeah. fit, if you're like, oh, he's so fit, heart attack. I yeah. remember when the captain of our football team in high school kept having heart attacks. <laughs> and uh, yeah. what we, we always keep one of those pens around because Epipen, we watched, yes. yeah. Well, no, no, it's because we saw Pulp Fiction. Okay. And yeah, we <laughs> just, we would just have a dot drawn on him before every single game because he would usually have two or three a game. So yeah, yeah it's it's important. Like we got so, every yeah, day yeah, occurrence yeah, yeah. on the field. Yeah. It's I didn't think I was going to have a heart attack, but I was taking so much Adderall. 
I probably was. Well, that's probably. Mm. But again, no, leads back it, to the it, pharmaceutical companies. It's wait, true. The no, yeah. it's not. What's well, not the pharmaceutical companies that did this? I bought cocaine yeah. a lot, so I don't know if I'd blame the pharmaceutical companies for when I thought I was having a heart attack. <laughs> uh, I can I can blame my my guy Dean. <laughs> you plug. What up, Dean? <laughs> what up, Dean? <laughs> Shout out to Dean. You remember me? Kept a gator in his garage. Oh, cool. really? That's yeah, cool. for like real. a small one or like uh, no, it's pretty small. Uh, but you know, when the police took it, it wasn't uh, happy. He used to put cocaine in the water. And yeah. uh, it was not a happy gator. I don't know how that metabolizes in the body yeah. of a gator. I've never but known a happy gator, but no, I assume that the cocaine wouldn't. It made it more angry. Would, it would enhance yeah. whatever, wherever he starts. Yeah. yeah. And if, he was real upset the His day they took oblongata. it. oblongata. Yeah. Something wrong oh, no. with your medulla oblongata. <laughs> <laughs> You look like there's cocaine in your little <laughs> bottle of God, Mr. Gator. <laughs> You're high as hell. Yeah, but that's that's not uncommon. There's always some animal that gets out every year that belongs to a drug dealer where they're like, if you happen to see a cheetah, <laughs> and they'll describe it on the news, and you're like, no, no. <laughs> like, uh, like, I don't need to. 20-yard <laughs> long python got out. I know where it came from. <laughs> yeah. Like, Why, oh. What is it about drug dealers and animals? Why do they love to have exotic animals? I, I think it's just because they can get them. And they're because like, they're high. High as fuck. Okay, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that was a dumb question. Yeah, yeah. Why would you not? Like, do I would. I would like to die. And yeah. this drug is not doing it quick enough. So yeah. I'm just gonna keep. Can this I get thing a tiger? House. Yeah, keep yeah. it in my backyard. Like, yeah. You ever seen an orca? And you're like, why? Well, I have in the wild. And you're like, but have you ever seen an orca in a garage? <laughs> <laughs> I guess, no. You're like, wow, that's a bucket list. Yeah. Item. <laughs> Everything is just most his lax back room. <laughs> <laughs> just a panda. <laughs> And it's, I, yeah, I assume that the uh, alligator or the crocodile, excuse me, did end up just dying of a heart attack. I, do, do you I, know how it? What it I don't know what was? happened. The, what we were it? honestly there when the police came, okay, and I've done a story about it in a, in a comedy. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, we were honestly there at 11 a.m. <laughs> and it wasn't because we had just started doing blow. Sure, uh, right. And you weren't coming to check on the <laughs> yeah, crocodile. Yeah. yeah, no, no. We, we had this called bleed over from <laughs> okay, the night before. Sure, sure. And the cops were banging on the door, and we hid. And they went out, and they not they knocked on the door, which I thought was hilarious. Of the garage, like the gator was going to be like, "Hello." <laughs> <laughs> and, and, They're like, uh, "We don't want to interrupt you, <laughs> yeah, gator." Yeah. The yeah. gator's going to be like, um, "This is my home. It's fine." <laughs> no, they put it on one of those dog leashes, like one of those like canine leashes, and they okay. brought it out, and it was very angry. Sure, and they left a thing that said he wasn't allowed to keep exotic pets on premises and he was all like overly emotional from you know several days of doing blow sure well that's he, his buddy man he's very emotionally attached to that game he was especially when you keep it in two baby pools surrounded in chicken wire <laughs> and he was just like oh i can't keep a, you know i can't keep gators in my garage heck, anymore, man. man i can't have a freaking D dinosaur in my yeah. garage bro. Like, <laughs> did it have a name I don't remember. I'm okay. sure it did. Yeah, I, I don't. Assume, yeah, I yeah. was assuming that they were also cuffing the gator, like yeah. the little floppy yeah. arms off to the side. <laughs> put Probably your, be too put your tiny hands behind your back, <laughs> like g gator cuffs. They're just like it's so common in Detroit. They're just comically <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it gets in the back of a squad car with just like three gazelles. There's just all these silly animals. <laughs> back to the zoo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every single yeah, every single animal in the Detroit Zoo is just on a different kind of drug. It's just drawing from. The zoo's empty. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, like, just, oh, it's just drug dealers. Oh, yeah. They took them all. Dean <laughs> has all of them. Just Dean hanging out, feeding feed them. They didn't check Dean's backyard. Just the garage. Uh, have you been there? It's great. <laughs> They have families going to Dean's backyard yeah, instead just, of the zoo. Just yeah. the, we got camels. It's pretty yeah. good. We got, a, we got a llama and emu. We got a giraffe back there. Yeah, it's you pretty put cool. Put lettuce in your hand, it'll eat right out of it. Yeah, I don't know how they haven't noticed yet. It's been eating all the people's high trees. <laughs> <laughs> and then that sign came through. No more exotic animals. Damn it. Before the yeah. sign, I thought it was legal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's odd is I don't think he knew or anybody knew if it was. It's always that sure. weird gray area where you're like, I can have an alligator, right? And everybody's yeah, you're handing you're over like the cash, the... you're like, I think this is okay. Everybody's yeah. 19. You're like, I think so. I think the cocaine <laughs> yeah. is definitely frowned upon. Yeah. But yeah. the gator you can probably have. Yeah. yeah definitely and who not do like you the ask, most illegal you know? thing happening. It is weird how you can get animals like that, like a tiger. I right. think Texas has more tigers in. Uh, private homes than that Africa does or That's, Asia. Are you serious? Yeah. Tigers in, in private, private homes, homes than Africa does. Yes. So like Africa, <laughs> then, then Africa okay. has like all, wild, like, oh, the, like the continent. Wild yeah. 
Wow. I can't yeah. imagine that's true. Or wherever tigers are from. Like, that can't I'm not be true. a freaking zoologist. Africa's a <laughs> continent and Texas is a state. <laughs> Uh, if yeah, that's true, true. if that's true, there's yeah. gonna be a lot of problems. Everybody has. That means everybody has three. Yeah, it's a lot, dude. It's a lot. It's all those rich people. Yeah, you might want to check your house when you get home. Yeah, <laughs> if you're listening to this, oh my god, go to the garage. You've got three tigers somewhere. It's, it's hidden the most in your house. Tigers I've ever heard. They're running rampant. There's tigers. how many tigers? There's gotta be. That can't, can't be accurate. Uh, I don't know. I read it on Ask Jeeves. <laughs> oh, okay. It's yeah, probably like accurate. one country though in Africa. Where it's comparable. Don't ask questions. You know, no, no, I just think you don't go that I deep. Lo- yeah, I, I love Garrett's. <laughs> I don't go that deep. It's got to be completely wrong. <laughs> Garrett's fun facts he made I've, up. I think I've done that at least three times in this show what? so far. I'm gonna love it if you're right though. Yeah. Yeah. When you actually find out, there are more out. tigers yeah, in search? American gardens than there are left in the wild. Boom! In Is that the true? Wild. American, yeah, not just Texas. Dude, That's the, right. Dunk. American. Okay, so not so, just Texas. Not just Texas. Right. But in the That's wild the period. Then left in, in the wild. Look, I said, was like 90% there. Bro. And the first part of the sentence That's was in American gardens. <laughs> it was maybe written by um, somebody from that? the UK. Thank you. What does that Did mean? Did they say backyards. like yard? Okay. They, they say gardens instead of like backyard. And Wait, who's like that? So pe- people in the UK. There's oh, more right. people in They're America silly. that just have tigers than there are in the wild? It yeah. looks like it. Cool. Good That's for us. the most dangerous. I know. We really, yeah. really are one of the richest countries. <laughs> Once you got to the moon, yeah. Yeah. Estimated you're like, right, we'll what's yeah. next? do something else. Yeah. Mike Tyson tigers. had three of them. I didn't know that. He but had a, like two or three of them. And I remember when they were taking the flat screen TVs out of his tiger cages like 20 <laughs> years ago. I'm not even joking. <laughs> it's when flat screens were expensive. Come on, I got to put like, something on for the tiger. Yeah, he's like, my tiger, they need to watch TV. They probably want to watch uh, yeah, they gotta be Daniel Tiger. <laughs> I wonder if he's like so specific about his taste for the tiger. I want them to have good taste. Yeah, he's like, yeah. Christopher put Nolan movie. Put on the Godfather. Put on the waterfront. <laughs> the big Kavan fan. Yeah. I want my tiger. The Italian job. The first one, not they the They love Elia Kavan. Yeah. <laughs> I want it to be high class. The put on something nice for him. <laughs> These tigers, cinephiles. Yeah, These tigers. Yeah, crazy. I love oh my it. gosh. Yeah. Really informed. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. You were right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm eating Good words. Don't question this, dumb brain. I mean, you were wrong about Texas, but it was still an impressively close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Still wild. I mean, still frightening. Yeah. <laughs> there's like 5,000, it says, in, and then there's only like 2,900 in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> in, gonna, in the wild in the world like yes. that's an animal where if it decides to leave you let it you what do you do <laughs> yeah like, you don't go get back here yeah you're like you're not like julian <laughs> can't like spray bottle it's, it's not gonna work. Julian. Yeah. Where it's like a like, white prep school kid. <laughs> yeah. julian get back get here. Get back. did you put the shock collar on it i did it but it's a tiger <laughs> it doesn't feel it at all so yeah. i care <laughs> <laughs> just makes it more angry. Heath yeah, it Cliff. leaves. Heathcliff. <laughs> yeah, I, I wonder if, yeah, if there are, if one decides to leave though, you got to take it in. Like, who's gonna take in the stray tigers? I assume yeah. that that's out there. It's just like walking down the street. You're like, what? What do you do? Who's yeah. stopping that? <laughs> no, you just hope it doesn't. You're like, hi. I just keep walking. <laughs> Imagine being the animal control guy. That's like usually I'm getting like kittens in hallways. Right. And like, uh, dogs that are just kind right. of in packs, baby uh, kittens under an RV or something. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I gotta go get them. You're trying to yeah. save them out of like a, a run out house or something, mm-hmm. and then uh, you show up and it's a tiger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now it's you're, a massive cat. That you gotta is, like, find gonna... the thing that ruined Las Vegas's magic show. Yeah, <laughs> or or saved it. Honestly, yeah, that probably was the best one to go to. Yeah. Where the, everybody was like, "Oh, they're doing a comedy bit," and then they're like, "Wait, his face is in his mouth." <laughs> I've been waiting for this special. I've heard the special years. effects are really good. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> Look at the tiger. That guy looks scared. <laughs> yeah. When do you realize? Yeah. Wait, he's oh, eating. Man. This isn't the bit. What a painful death. Twenty years Doctor. later, or whatever it was, yeah. he died. Like this, ten years later. Just his face. <sighs> and we were like, let's get those into our houses. Yeah, we're like, five thousand. Oh man, that's pretty more. Cool. Yeah. More tigers. <laughs> yeah. I need more. Is Whatever there, the number is you think in your head, up it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Teaching it card tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you go? Yeah, the tiger store. If it's that common, if there are 5,000 of them, I assume. I don't know. The Petco has a large cage in the back. Yeah. You got to know the password. Yeah, it is bringing you. Yeah, there's no. Re- yeah, you no. just meet the one guy who's like, you want a tiger, man? Because you're looking at a big cat. 
Yeah. <laughs> I got something for He's you. He's like, you know what you really want? He like shows you a brochure. He's like, how much is it? He's like fourteen thousand dollars. <laughs> like, I got yeah. that. I got yeah. that. <laughs> it's worth it. Is it safe around kids? He's like, yeah, why not? What's his name, Julian? <laughs> yeah, Julian. <All right. laughs> yeah. Makes me feel safe around him. Yeah, right. What do you feed it? I don't know, whatever you want, man. Bro. Do you have <laughs> anything. chickens? Do you live by a place that has trash? <laughs> <laughs> you said you had kids, kids right? <laughs> <laughs> You're good. You're set. Yeah, I don't know. Like, if I, you got like 18 hamburgers or something? <laughs> <laughs> a day? <laughs> Yeah, you're going to want a lot. I don't know. Just, just give it stuff till it's not angry. That's what I do. <laughs> Start shoveling stuff in there. You'll be fine. You're like like wow, Trailer Park thanks. Boys. They were giving it weed, weren't they? To chill it oh, out. Yeah. Because that was uh, weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was some kind of bobcat or something, mountain lion or something. Uh, but whatever. Just stuff it in the CRV. Yeah. Just tear that out. <laughs> Ready to go. <laughs> then you got to get it home. Yeah. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> it comes you like, never what I got. <laughs> There should be so oh many God. like house raids too for drugs where you go in and you're like they have a tiger and it's like <laughs> yeah. you know what keep them like, guaranteed <laughs> the houses with the tigers the you're gonna yeah. find cocaine as well oh yeah, yeah for the, sure the ratio is the definitely ratio is high. yeah high it's high <laughs> very very high but well hey Dave, we Dave. Do, we're, we're going too long right oh my goodness. it's time we uh we've come to the end of the show. I know we it's have. Very sad. I know it's hard because we enjoy we enjoy yeah, talking, people, especially to it's Wade. We like having fun. And thank you, Wade, for coming on the show. So glad to be here. Everybody, please go check out his channel and watch his show, The Wade Show with Wade. It's a great show. It's very funny, and I enjoy it. Thank you so much. It comes out on Fridays, right? It does. Yeah, every Friday. Yeah. Every Friday. Yeah. You can watch it. Dan, and, where are you going to be? Uh, this weekend, you can check me out with Matt McClowry. It's going to be the Sweet Davy Bottoms Tour. Uh, <laughs> I'll be in Omaha, Nebraska. And you can also see me in August uh, in, at, in Indiana at the dates right there. And also, uh, I'll be selling tigers after the show. Um, in the back So, out. yeah, just talk to me out back. Give me the special code. It's banana. And, question mark. Yeah, question, question mark. Question. With the question With mark. If you don't mark. say the question mark, you're not getting a tiger. Yeah. You're I giving them away? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I have uh, Siberian, <laughs> Bengal. Uh, All right. Yeah. yeah. So I have albino. Yeah, too tiger. many. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever it is. every one of those 5,000 tigers. Yeah, I have a lot of tigers. <laughs> You're and like a used car sales yeah. but for tigers. Yeah, they're very expensive. The upkeep. I've got too many, and they all have to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy. Yeah. Like, really crazy day. Yeah, dude, literally crazy. crazy. Tiger yeah. lot. I have six tigers, and I shouldn't. <laughs> and four fingers. <laughs> I tell the cops they're horses, and I don't <laughs> let them look inside. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, we said that this is the end of the show, so we're going to stop. Bye, everybody. I'll see you later tomorrow. <laughs>